Hello and welcome to Increasing Language Production in the World Language Classroom. My name is Amy Gutierrez and I am a teacher specialist in ISD. Before we get started, um, I want you to just take a minute and think about what strategies you are currently using to increase language production. Have those in mind? Let's get started. Um, our professional development norms, we won't be going over those since we didn't have anybody in attendance today. We have highlighted here um, how this ties to the MTSS framework for world language classes. Um, and we'll be looking at how um, systematic vocabulary and things like standard-based instruction or um, school-wide positive behavioral PBIS can support our students, along with teacher clarity um, and explicit instruction um, and maximizing opportunities to respond. In best practices for digital teaching and learning, our focus is going to be in practice and really determining how students can best practice their specific skills in language. Our learning intention is, um, I am reviewing the core instructional strategies for language learning and, and viewing and reflecting on videos of instruction so that I can increase student language production. I know I am successful when I can implement a strategy to engage my students in the target language and make it visible to all. Our agenda for today, uh, we're just gonna real quick review the core instructional strategies for language. And we will view two short videos and then have an opportunity to reflect. And um, I will be providing the slide deck and a learning test notebook to help you along the way. So first off, our core instructional strategies for language learning. This um, graphic um, highlights six main high yielding strategies um, that should help you with um, engaging students. And these probably look familiar to you. They're part of the MTSS framework, best practices for digital teaching and learning. They over, overlap with the instructional priorities included in our instructional guides, and they're a part of DLI and ACTFL. Um, we based these off of the USBE DLI program graphic, and they're the pillars of language instruction for DLI world language and multilingual learners. So choosing even one or two of these strategies um, and using them consistency will make a big difference with your students. Um, and consistency and repetition and practice really helps your language learners and builds confidence in them to use the language, to use the target language. As you're watching these um, recordings, um, please take some notes. And I would like you to think about what strategies, um, which one of the pillars um, that I just reviewed with you do you see in these lessons? And then think about how the teacher can increase engagement and language production. Now I've chosen um, two French lessons and I don't have any subtitles in English to help you along the way, but um, even for me, just um, going into other world language classes, even though my background is in Spanish, I can still pick out some things um, some strategies, of, they're, pretty, um, they're pretty apparent or not apparent. <laughs> okay, on y va. Uh, on commence avec des mots difficiles à prononcer, d'accord? Qui a un mot qui est difficile à prononcer Je vais prononcer. Ah, d'accord. Quelquefois. Euh, hein Quelquefois. Quelquefois. Très bien. Répétez tout le monde. Quelquefois. Quelquefois. Très bien. Bien prononcé. Très bien. Encore un mot difficile. Est-ce que tu as un mot difficile à prononcer euh... Rencontrer. 
Oui, tout le monde. Rencontrer. D'accord. On fera la prochaine section, c'est les associations. D'accord Qui a une bonne association D'accord. Encore Un homme Un homme Oui. Et une femme. D'accord. Tout le monde. Un homme Une femme. D'accord. Ok, encore une association. D'accord. Un père et une mère. D'accord, très bien. Ok, encore des, des contraires, n'est-ce pas D'accord. Ok, une dernière. Une dernière association. Ou là, on a la mère. Elle est D'accord, très bien. Tout le monde. Aimer. Adorer. Adorer. Alors, maintenant, les mots de même origine. D'accord, les mots de même origine. Prochaine section. C'est très facile, n'est-ce pas? Qui a un mot de même origine? Fragment. Ok. Danser. Danser. Dance. D'accord. Euh, encore? Âge. D'accord. Euh, maintenant, les familles de mots. Est-ce que vous avez trouvé des familles de mots dans le vocabulaire Oui, ok. <rire> étudier, un étudiant. Étudier, un étudiant. Très bien. Étudier, c'est un verbe, n'est-ce pas Un étudiant, c'est une personne. D'accord, très bien. Ok. Qui a encore une famille de mots Aimer, amoureux, aimer, amoureux, c'est amoureuse. Très bien, d'accord Que veut dire aimer Soleil, et que veut dire amoureux In love, right In love. Amoureux, amoureuse, c'est parce que la famille, hein? n'est-ce pas Aimer. Très bien. Très bien, d'accord. Euh, maintenant, on va faire les chasser l'intrus. D'accord? Euh, vous allez former des groupes de deux ou trois personnes. Vous avez un bon chasse et Canada. C'est un continent, c'est ça. Les autres sont des pays, n'est-ce pas? Voilà, c'est ça. Okay, I'll just have you take a minute and write your reflection or come finish up your reflection. Okay, let's look at this next video. Alors, exercice 8, 
des passe-temps. Posez des questions à vos camarades de classe. Comment il s'appelle Et qu'est-ce qu'il aime faire, Blake Oui. Il aime danser, très bien. Et vous, qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire Vous aimez danser, vous aimez jouer au football Oui. J'aime nager. Tu aimes nager Très bien. Alors, maintenant, vous allez poser les questions sur les passe-temps à vos camarades. D'accord Qui a envie de lire les instructions Merci. Très bien. Alors, par exemple, est-ce que tu téléphones souvent à tes parents Oui. Alors Est-ce que tu tombes souvent amoureuse <rire> Merci. Vous comprenez oh. On répète. Est-ce que tu téléphones souvent à tes parents On répète. Est-ce que tu téléphones Ok. Donc la voix monte. Ok. Est-ce que tu tombes souvent amoureuse est-ce que tu tombes souvent amoureuse Très bien. Avez-vous des questions sur le vocabulaire Pas de questions, non Questions Très bien. Donc, quatre volontaires, s'il vous plaît. Donc, vous faites l'activité. D'accord Est-ce que tu veux le faire souvent à ton piano? Oui. Merci. Tu veux jouer du piano? Euh. Vous changez? Oui. Est-ce que tu veux me Oui. Ok. Maintenant, le défaut. Et vous faites l'activité, d'accord Oui. Est-ce que tu veux Oui. Oui. Merci. Est-ce que tu veux jouer à ce piano Est-ce que tu veux jouer du piano Non. Est-ce que tu veux jouer du piano Hey, once again, I'll just give you a minute to write down some notes. Um, and you can pause the video at any time. Um, for the sake of this being a recording, I'll just go into the takeaways. So as um, you were watching this video, um, you probably noticed that both teachers had, you know, some elements of the foundational pillars that I mentioned earlier, um, the six core um, instructional strategies for language learning. Um, breaking these down by those um, different strategies, um, looking at the language and content objective pillar, um, this one we didn't we didn't get to see, and this might have already been reviewed with students before um, these teachers recorded their lessons. And um, this is just another way that you can engage your students, um, just simply by having them um, read it. Um, in a choral response with the whole class, or you can have students turn to their partner and they can read 
Um, they can go over the language and content objective together, or they can, you know, like turn to your, you can have your students turn to your neighbor and clarify the meaning of the content and language objective. Um, this is one way to get them started, get them going right at the beginning of class with um, language production. Uh, in checks for understanding, rather than calling on individual students, like you saw in both of these videos, um, you could have students, again, turn to a partner to clarify meaning, um, to practice the language, and then elicit more responses whole group. Also, you know, having them use gestures and, um, and things like that as well. Comprehensible input. Um, we know that comprehensible input is just any type of um, input that you use to help students um, gain an understanding of the language, so to clarify meaning. And um, this can be in the form of even just um, providing visuals or um, building background knowledge by telling a story. Um, and then here in these videos, you saw the use of cognates um, and, and, and reverting to the first language. And, the, and this, these two recordings are from like a beginning level and a novice mid um, classroom um, with language acquisition. So there will be more reference to um, using the English language um, to clarify meaning. I do, we do, you do, or expl explicit instruction. Uh, see, we see some of this in the second video. The teacher first demonstrates um, the, the activity, um, then has the small group um, demonstrate, and then um, the whole class works together on, um, in the end. And one way to um, increase language production in this part is to, rather than just having students respond with a yes or no, um, you can take it a little further and provide some sentence frames on how they would, you know, respond in, in complete sentences rather than just yes or no responses. And this is another way to increase language production. And engagement strategies in both of these videos, you can see that there was a choral response. Um, there were some individual responses. There was, you know, turn to your groups. And um, these are um, some great ways for engagement and getting them up and moving around the classroom. Language references or scaffolds. These um, may be, you know, um, like in the videos, we saw the use of textbooks and notes. And you could also um, extend this by using, you know, some word walls or, you know, using more visuals as, as you go along. Okay, going back to our learning intention and success criteria, um, we reviewed the core instructional strategies for language learning and um, viewed some videos of instruction so that you can find some ways to increase um, language production in your classroom and then hopefully are successful when you can implement a strategy to engage your students in the target language. Um, in your learning task notebook, I just invite you to take a minute and think about something that you can implement tomorrow um, based on our time together today. Um, here are the resources that I used. And in the slide deck and in the videos. And I just wanna thank you for participating. Thanks for taking a look at this video um, and feel free to reach out at any time.